This video is sponsored by PageProof. Now, of course, if we have a very long set of tables here, we may want to extend this over multiple pages. So I'm just going to select multiple rows here, here hold down my Option or Alt and click and drag and duplicate all these rows. And then what I'd like to do, of course, if I close this up and I click on my overset text, I can then draw another container on this page or on another page. And then it's just going to flow. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to have the header show up on every page, okay? Which is pretty easy. I can take my type tool, select the entire row, and I could right click or control click directly on this, and I could convert this to a header, but I'm not gonna do that yet, okay? Because if I do that, then it's gonna appear on every container if I set that as an option. So let me show you a trick here. I'm gonna select the first row. I haven't turned this into a header here, it's just a standard row of copy. It looks like a header, but it has not been officially turned into one. I have not gone in here and actually set this up as a header yet, okay? It looks like one, but it isn't one yet. I'm gonna select that row, Option or Alt click, and I'm going to duplicate this um, row. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to type in the word continued, I'm do lowercase here, and I'm gonna select the copy, make it a little bit smaller, and just tighten up the letting a little bit. Because I would like this to show up on my other menus as it goes through, but I also want the header as well. So now I'm gonna select this one that says the continued here. I'm gonna right click or control click and I wanna say I wanna convert this to a header. And now of course you'll see that it shows up in my next linked container, whether it be on this page or on another page. Now I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with this because now I'm gonna select this first header row here and as I select it, it's gonna select all of them wherever they are. I'm gonna right click and go into my table options. I'm gonna to go to my header and footer. And it shows that I have one header row right here because this is the header. This is not, it's just a row that looks like one. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, have it skip the first occurrence of the header. That's it, click okay. And now it skips the first occurrence. So this one does not have a header. It has a row that is formatted like a header, but it isn't truly a header. And then as this goes on, now it looks like it simply says continued in here and all of my table attributes work really well, no matter how I close up the containers or open the containers or move things around, it will automatically go through and make my header correct here Technically, this isn't a header, but now all my other ones will look like a header that says the word continued. So when you do this on your containers, this makes it a whole lot easier to follow. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.